Oh hey, you're watching another video of mine. The name is Maurice. Hello everyone, welcome to another part of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We have to investigate writing on the wall again. So let's go. Take a look. I wonder if there's any changes at the moment. It's here. I know it's it's on the third floor. Is it? I, I I actually don't remember. No, maybe it's on the on the second. If I remember well. Yes, it is. But uh, where things? Well, here we are. Let's look around for any clues. Scorch marks. And look here. What is it? Spiders traveling out in a line through a crack in the wall. And remember all the water on the floor in front of moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Somebody mopped it up. We'll better take a look in there. Right. Left. Maybe she heard or saw something. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. No one ever uses it. Come on. And run when you fought, fought the troll. We were also in a girl's bathroom. I don't really care. What a gloomy mess. Filch would drop death a death if he saw this place. Maybe we should call him then. Oh my gosh, Ron, come on. She's usually in the last stall. See if you can get her to come out, Harry. Why Harry? Why not you guys? Okay, okay, okay. Here she is. Myrtle, are you in there? What are those boys doing here? This is a girl's bathroom! Okay, Hermione, your try. I just wanted to show them how nice it is here. No one wants to upset you. No one wants to upset me? Everyone upsets me! Sorry to bother you. Let's go. She will never tell us anything in, in that state. We should cheer her up. How? That's probably easier said than done. That's what I thought. We could give her something she likes. But what do ghosts like? Let's bring her a flower. Girls like flowers, whether they are alive or not. I don't know how you know that, Hermione, but let's try it anyway. We don't have many things to do. Not many choices. Maybe it will bring back her cherished memories of her own funeral. We should ask Hagrid. He knows a lot about plants. And maybe about flowers, too. Let's go. We're going, let's go. Let's bother that girl. Ah, no, don't. She doesn't have anything to show us. Wink face. <laughs> okay, I'm a pervert, I know. Stop thinking that, I know I am. I like this. I, I really like that new thing. Like, where do we go? I mean, the girls' restroom. Oh, whatever. Okay. Well, it's really nice for them to improve that in the game. By the way, how is it with the points? Hufflepuff has the most house points right now, but just barely. Okay, well, that's, that's not fun, I think. Hagrid's garden is big, 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 big. Here he is. He's staring at this uh, fireplace. That's may that may be really inspirational. Don't judge. Hello, Hagrid. Hello, Harry. What can I do for you today? I will just like to act like Hagrid's a cowboy. So that's nice. Our robot boy is a pirate. Well, we want to give a flower to someone to cheer her up. She's a ghost. That's a tall order. Ghost ain't really that cheer upable. I like that. Tell them a joke and it goes right over their heads or through them. 
Come on, Hagrid. Why are you so punny today? Still, would like to try. Do you know any flowers ghost like? Seems to me they are partial to lilies. Okay. That's uh Harry's mother is also named Lily. That's why you see him at the funeral so much. I like it. Do you have any growing in your garden? Nope. Draw guy in stocks like a magnet. They do. Oh, okay. That's stupid. Slugs. I wonder what a guy in slug is like, though. Professor McGonagall likes them too. Probably only a coincidence, though. Go ask her about them. Thanks, Hagrid. Yeah, you're welcome. So I suppose we're off to Professor McGonagall's office. Don't tell her what we want or why. She will flute us with questions. Just like when we wanted to know about the philosopher stone. She is too much of a... I don't know. It's like she's interviewing us. Who doesn't want to interview Harry Potter, I think? If I got the chance, I will definitely do it. And I was like... Dude, that was your voiceover for the games. And do you like that? And he's like... No. You have a terrible voice. Why would you ever do that? I would be like... Well, at least I look like Ron Weasley. So I'd be happy about it, about it bro. <laughs> okay, that would make no sense. Wee -woo. Wee -woo. She isn't there. Let's look around. Well, it's not really useful, I actually think, Harry. Well, at least we got a card. Let's look under her bed. <laughs> her bed. Whoops. Chair. Chair mode activate. Whoop. We got an antidote. And we got the lily flower. Finally. Well, <laughs> we found one. Let's get back to Myrtle. But maybe Mr. McGonagall was hiding under her bed. And I, will, I will be like, what the freaking boss? Also, why do uh, students students just why aren't they able to look in their teacher's office so easily? I have no idea. We're back, Myrtle. We bought you something. They're not afraid of anything, are they? Nobody ever gives me anything. What a funny look. We did. The flower. Isn't it pretty? Ah, oh, Harry gave a, f a ghost a flower. You are really a romanticus, Harry. It's a really my favorite. That was very nice of you, Harry. Here, I'll teach you my favorite spell. Because it knows him. You know. Oh well, in the Fiddle Supper Stone it couldn't improve, and probably in this game it will. Uh, I still need to make an episode about because it now some in Fiddle Supper Stone, but that one can level up, and this one can. That, that's really nice. Uh, it gives poison to enemies if you don't know that. Could we ask you something? Do you, did you hear anything strange outside the other night? I wasn't paying much attention. Thieves really upset me at the party. Oh, thanks. If you would think of anything, though, will you tell us? That needed a question mark. Sure. Thank you again for the flower. Poor girl, actually. I would like her, uh, like the cause of her death, actually. Because it's so... I don't like it. What were you doing in there? That's a girl's bathroom. You don't say. That girls never use. What difference does it make? Don't you know how it looks, you three coming back here when everyone is at dinner? Nice cape, by the way, Percy, I thought. Yes. We didn't do anything, Percy. You know that. I do, but some don't. I've never seen Ginny so upset. She thinks you're going to be expelled. Now, back to the common room before something else happens. I suppose you're right. Let's go. Oh, at least we have Percy, and Percy is on our side. Our side, I mean. You befriended Moaning Myrtle. Wipe your feet and go to the card collector's club room for a new card combo. I don't know what it means, wipe your feet. It's probably something, a saying, a sentence, well used to, uh, to, to say something. What do we need to know? 
griffins come on okay we'll get uh, we'll grab the gumbo on our way to Gryffindor don't worry we don't really have much more single singles since the last time I visited the shop so I will need to get some training done offline but as I said it's offline I I'm so sorry for no, never remembering what room is what. It I know I've been playing the games for so long, for two hours. Two hours? Uh, almost a year, I mean. Why would I say two hours? Must doesn't make really sense, actually. Hello guy. It's always only you. Hello MC Duck. How are you today? Yo yo, what's up, Harry? What are you doing there? Okay, you have some users. Thank you, bro. I want to call this guy Ryan, although he, I don't don't know his really, his actual name, but I don't care. So is this a singer? Just a girl, or what is it? Are you a monster? I have no idea. We have some bananas here, I saw. Oh no, it's a leaf. And that's okay for me. So, um, MC Duck, anything, uh, any advice for me? You don't be yourself when you're scared! Okay, that was really stupid, but... Uh, MC Duck, I'm the most powerful rapper of Hogwarts. Okay, that sounds like a an old man who tries too hard when peeing. Oh well, new jokes don't really uh, aren't really effective when that's playing anymore. So I don't try. I will not try anymore. Anyway, let's go here. Wattlebird. I wonder what a wattlebird is. We still don't know who's behind like this. I think it's maybe it's Malfoy. I don't know. But wants to scare all the non-magical born students out of Hogwarts. We already know who thinks he's better than everyone else. Draco Malfoy. Ron and I always think the same. Every Slytherin thinks they're better than everyone else. But the, his family has always been in Slytherin. They could have had the key to the chamber of, chamber of secrets for centuries. How could we ever prove Draco is the higher of Slytherin? Yeah, I have no idea. There might be a way, but we'll, we'll have to get into the Slytherin common room. You want to break a rule? I don't want to, but we may have to. All we would need is a polyjuice potion. What's that? It transforms you into somebody else. We could change into three Slytherins. Then, Malfoy could tell us anything. Do you know how to make it? No, but a book called Mostel Most Potent Potions in a library tells us. Except, it's in the restriction session section. The only way to get into the restricted section is if a teacher gives us a signed permission note. Maybe we could convince a teacher that we're just interested we are just interested in the theory and didn't want to make a potion. Oh come on, what teacher here is that easily fooled? Oh gosh, ah, uh, yes, yes, I know he will uh, be useful. Professor Lockhart, he will auto grab anything that sits still long enough. Let's go find him and see if the, he falls for it. I can't wait to do it. Okay, well, I don't know for how long I've been recording, but let's just go to his office and then end the episode or just let him get the book and then end the episode. Okay, let's collect this thingy. Whop. Whop, whop, whop. Whop. Whop, whop, whop. This is the history of magic thingy. Okay. Yep, it is. It's so is. Da, da, da. Ooh, I love whatever I'm holding. I can see it, what she's holding. I never actually paid attention to that uh, to that girl statue. Do, 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 do. 
Yep. So what about this? Okay, there he is, staring at his own picture. Uh, hello, Professor. There we are with the street. Well, three of my fervent admirers care to hear about the time I transfixed a ghoul with a tea strainer. Again? I mean, no thank you. There's a book we would like to have a look at. But I thought you would already read all of my books. Uh, no, this is a book in the restricted section, so we need a note. It might help us to better understand your TS trainer. Research about me, huh? Well, never let it be said I stood in the way of inquiry. Young minds. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a profession note. Try to, uh... Haha, <laughs> try to get me now, Malfoy. Thanks awfully, Professor. Oh, thanks awfully, Professor. Hi! That's my thing to say. Bright purple ink. Gross. What did you expect? Now let's get to library and pick up that book. Well, actually, my outro has some bright purple as well. Anyway, I think we'll enter there and get that book from the library and the restricted section. Can't wait to actually find the thing and dress up as a guy from Slytherin. Awesome. So, thanks for watching, hope you like it, and hope you have a nice day. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.